doing to this guy? This is V. Ouch! Oh my God! Oh my Personnel God. of the Federal Capital Treasury oh Joint God. Task Force, oh comprising of Nigerian oh Police, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, oh, and Vehicle Inspection Officers, Manhandling, Commercial Motorcycle and Tricycle Operators along a poor area of the nation's capital after a hot chase. The guy inside the booth, after all they've done to him, is he a criminal for kind of loud? Reason? They were said to be caught flouting the coronavirus restrictions directive issued by the federal government for all to stay at home in order to contain the spread of the global disease. That guy will stick. The video went viral on social media on Wednesday with the effort of an online journalist, Ima Briggs Oko. But this act got him into trouble with the Joint Task Force team on COVID-19. That's what I'm made to do. I went to At the end of it all, Oko was sentenced by the magistrate, Mebe Bello, to a three-hour community service with a fine of 5,000 naira, which he paid to the Abuja Environmental Protection Board. He, however, appealed to the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, and other top authorities officers to featured personnel involved in human rights violation in the past for an intensive training on human rights protection to reduce the growing numbers of violations in Nigeria, especially under the lockdown period. Is it the coronavirus or me that you carry the gun and you face me with the gun? That's, that's just the question we need to ask ourselves. You're meant to enforce the lockdown order and you carry guns about threatening and collecting money from people because I am I'm very sure those boys that they arrested, they'll collect money from them and then let them go. During the COVID-19 lockdown, the National Human Rights Commission had released a report disclosing a total of 105 complaints of human rights violations from 24 states were received and monitored. Finding the Nigerian police force accounted for about 90% of the cases followed by the Nigerian Army and Nigerian Correctional Service, as well as other non-state actors. Funke Ognolu, NIT News Abuja.